Hey, what's up, broskies? It's Soda. Today I'll be doing gender swapping. Friday Night Funkin' Mods Part 3, baby! Wow, I haven't done one of these in like eight months. But over time, I've come across some mods that I really, really enjoyed. And also, these are just really fun to make. So, broskies, let us make some anime waifus. All right, so first up, I'm going to be drawing Lucian from the Friday Night Funkin' Mod Magnet. Magnet. Uh. Oh my god, I literally can't pronounce this right. Magnage Matches. There we go. But yeah, this is Lucian from that one mod that I can't pronounce the name of. And I actually think I watched this mod like a few days after it came out. And I gotta say, this is one of my top favorite Friday Night Funkin' Mods. I just love this one so much. And I think it is so, so cool. So this mod takes place in a high school sitting where a boyfriend really, really wants to impress girlfriend because we're actually not together yet. And of course, he tries to do this by beatboxing. Okay, well, more specifically, they said rap battling, but beatboxing makes more sense. And beatboxing is where you just go. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, he approaches this one dude who is really, really cool. His name is Tack, and he asks him if he can rap battle with him so that he can try and impress girlfriend. And Tack agrees. They do the battle, and Tack's voice is actually really cool and unique. It's like a, it's like an epic violin. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it. But as cool as that song was, unfortunately, it did not catch girlfriend's attention, which made boyfriend depressed. Then. Two other friends of Tax come along, Abby and Lucian. Boyfriend sees Lucian, he's like, hey, do you want to help me out? And he's like, eh. I don't know. But Lucian eventually agrees to it and they do the battle. Oh my god, Lucian's song is so, so cool. I love it so much. Not only is his voice literally awesome and cool as heck, but the instrumental is just as good, if not better, and everything just comes really, really well together. Actually, Lucian's voice kind of reminds me of when you talk into a fan. I don't know, I just wanted to put that out there. They finally get girlfriend's attention, which makes boyfriend really, really confident and wanting to do another rap battle to impress her even more, so he proceeds to make fun of Lucian, call him edgy and stuff, and Lucian is clearly made very uneasy by all of this, and then Abby steps in, who is the cat creature, I think? I think she's a cat, I don't know. But to say the least, she is very, very angry at how Boyfriend was treating Lucian, and she looks really scary, and then Boyfriend's like, oh, you don't scare me! And then they start battling. I gotta say, Abby's song is pretty intense. She literally sounds like she's growling the whole time, which is a really, really cool effect. It's like she's showing that she's an actual, like, animal, and I think out of all the Friday Night Funkin' mods that I've witnessed, this song has some of the most emotion in it. You can tell that she's feeling genuine anger, which I think is really cool. At the end of the song, she straight up punches him. But then Girlfriend actually steps in the way to protect Boyfriend. Abby gets really salty and then she argues with her and then Lucian just tells them to drop it and then they all leave and everything's good. Then it says the end with a question mark, which I'm assuming might be hinting at a part two. I really hope there's gonna be a part two. That would be so cool. But yeah, I really love this mod. The art Work is also really amazing and like the background characters. I just love everything about this mod. I wanted to draw Lucian for this because I really like his design and his character and his song and everything about him is just cool. I made Lucian's ears longer and more fluffy as well as giving Lucian more hair in general. His ears originally have piercings I think so instead of piercings I gave her these barrettes. I also put a hair clip in the poof of her hair at the top and also on the side. I definitely struggled a little bit drawing the face because it's a very different style from mine. But since Lucian is an edgy rebel type character. I still wanted to keep that punk face. Um, as for the outfit, I kind of just gave her the female school uniform since they are wearing school uniforms uh, in the mod. But I did make some adjustments. I made Lucian's shirt ripped and I also made her ribbon kind of like dangling. It's not exactly properly tied to give her more of a rebellious look. And I also put the, the jacket that's tied around Lucian's waist over her shoulders instead. I feel like that's something a delinquent would do and also uh, the delinquent rival from Yandere Simulator kind of inspired me. And then she's kind of just letting the bat rest over her shoulder while she's winking and she's looking all smug and stuff. I think she turned out really cool and I'm gonna call her Lucia. I made Lucian's shoes a little bit wonky because I'm not used to drawing them, you know. I guess you could say I was feeling a little puzzled. Oh, and speaking of which, today's video is sponsored by Traffic Puzzle. Traffic Puzzle is a free-to-play mobile game and it's a match game where you can help move cars out of the road by matching three cars of the same color. You can assist ambulances, police cars, and fire trucks to help reach their destinations. This game has a fun storyline and not to mention the art style and characters are so cute. Like, look at her. I want to draw her. She is so pretty. 
refreshes. The maps are super colorful too. This game is fun and honestly so relaxing, so it's the perfect thing to play after I rage quit from a hard Friday Night Funkin' song. Seriously, this game will ease your mind. Traffic Puzzle is always coming out with cool new levels as well as events with fresh gameplay mechanics like removing tires from the streets and clearing airfields of unattended cars. Enjoy this adorable relaxing game with fun puzzle matching gameplay, compete with other players on the leaderboards, help the city, and play Traffic Puzzle today. Download link in the description or just scan the QR code to get Traffic Puzzle. Thanks to Traffic Puzzle so much for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to drawing. All right, so next up we are doing the Tabby mod, which is basically about girlfriend's ex-boyfriend. This mod starts off with girlfriend telling boyfriend that she wants to meet up with someone at a restaurant, claiming that it's supposed to be her uncle or something who's a friend of her father. But when they get to the restaurant, turns out it's not actually her uncle, it's her ex-boyfriend. He met up with girlfriend at the restaurant because he wants to kill her, but then he sees boyfriend and he tells him to leave because it's none of his business, but then boyfriend's like, no. And so the singing begins. Tabby's voice is actually really cool. It's very, very deep. And already you can tell from the very beginning that girlfriend is very uncomfortable just by looking at her face. She is sweating and she just looks really nervous. And boyfriend actually looks very nervous too, which I actually like because in a lot of mods, boyfriend usually has like a neutral face and doesn't usually seem to care, but in this mod, he is genuinely anxious. After the first song is over, Tabby continues to tell boyfriend that she is actually just using him for her own success and that girlfriend actually used him in the past and that's why he is literally a floating skull. He tells boyfriend to leave again and then boyfriend of course says no. Then Tabby's just like, okay, guess I'm killing two people today. There is a lot more tension in the air during the second song and Tabby's just ready to throw hands. Also, I just love how they're in a public restaurant and no one gives a crap that they're rap battling. The second song is really, really cool. I like it a lot. After the second song is over, Tabby just casually decides to, you know, blow up the entire restaurant. Like, I don't know, man, if I casually just saw this maniac with a floating skull claiming that he was gonna kill people, I would have left that restaurant a while ago. After he blew up the place, everything looked completely different and girlfriend's just lying on the ground with scratches and bruises, there's fire everywhere. Tabby says he's gonna kill girlfriend here and now to make her father feel pain, which tells me that her father did something bad. In which he did because I actually looked on the wiki and it talks about how Tabby used to be a successful rapper but then girlfriend and her father took advantage of him and that's how he's a skeleton person thing. I guess for a lot of mods the father is just the reason for everything bad happening. The third song is definitely my favorite out of all of them. It's really cool, very fast paced and intense and even though girlfriend is lying on the floor nearly dead she is still bopping her head because that's just a natural function she has at all times. The song ends and the mod just ends like that. There's nothing else to see. I think there's supposed to be a week two coming out, but I'm not entirely sure. Now with the female version of Tabby, it's a little bit harder than the other characters because Tabby doesn't really have a whole lot of human features when it comes to his head and also how he technically doesn't have a body. He's not even human anymore. Also no hair. So this one was a bit more of a challenge. One thing that I knew I wanted to change was the head shape. So men usually tend to have a more defined jawline as well as a more square head. Meanwhile, females on the other hand normally have a more round head. Everyone's different obviously, but this is how it usually is. So I incorporated that with her. Tabby's head is more defined and square. Meanwhile, I made hers more round and less shape defined, I guess. And I will say again, since I am not used to drawing skull heads, this was pretty difficult for me. I had to redraw it a few times, but in the end, I think it turned out all right. I made her horns a bit bigger and also more curled in the back, along with actually adding a triangle earring because Tabby has these little orange triangles on his shoes. So I thought I would make that into earrings for her horn. I thought that was a really cute touch. For this one, I also decided to base this off Tabby's final form where his skull is cracked and stuff and he's completely insane. I gave her a cropped short sleeve hoodie and I also gave her some arm warmers. She has shorts instead of pants and then she also has some leg warmers. On these leg warmers, I decided to also add that triangle design because I thought it would add more to it and make it look cooler and a little bit more colorful. But in Tabby's original design, he's wearing long sleeve with everything so it doesn't really show that his body is invisible a whole lot but with hers it's different because in this outfit she would be showing more skin but she has no skin to show. I tried taking a little bit of inspiration from Lewis from Mystery Skulls. He has a skull head as well and it kind of represents more of what I wanted mine to look like but in this form Tabby is also opening his jaw and screaming really loudly so that's another reason why it doesn't look the way I want it to. But I guess she is supposed to look scary so this makes more sense. I almost added hair but since that wasn't in his original design I decided to skip that. I tried my best on this. Again, it was a little difficult, but I think she turned out really cool. 
All right, so last but not least in this video, I'm gonna be drawing Bob from the versus Bob mod. I've actually gotten quite a few requests to do this one, but I held off on doing this for so long because I didn't know what to do. I mean, look at Bob. He is literally just a fat stick man. I, I don't know how to even describe it. His design is so, so simple. So I had no idea what to do for him, but I guess you can see I figured it out. Another reason was because for the longest time, I actually held off on watching the Bob mod myself and seeing what it was like, but I did that recently. I gotta say, this mod is pretty cool. It's definitely different from other ones. The mod starts off with Boyfriend and Bob being in this sunny, bright field, and then Bob just calls Boyfriend stupid, and then the song immediately starts after that. And you know, I do like Bob's voice. I think it sounds really cool. It's very high-pitched, and it kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing, especially with the background music. I don't know. After the first song, Bob says, what was that for? With a little angry face. <laughs> Boyfriend tells him that he looks like Dream. That is honestly the perfect insult. In the second song, you can see that the sky becomes more gray, there's less color, Bob is looking angry, and I gotta say, like, I know this goes for a lot of second songs and mods, but something about this one is especially unsettling. I think it's because since this mod is supposed to be so, so simple, it's unsettling to hear this kind of music, and it's like, you just know something really bad is about to happen. I also really like how Bob's voice sounds reverbed in this song, I think it really adds a lot to it. So the second song ends, and then we are greeted with this monstrosity. Bob just turns pitch black and grows human eyes. Also, I just love how during this really dramatic transformation, it shows a random note from the creator about how they forgot to pay someone for the animation and it's just like a really funny looking bad drawing. Um, then it shows Bob talking, but <laughs> He's not actually talking, there's nothing in this speech bubble. I for real cannot get over how creepy this is. Third song begins and right away we can see that this song is way way harder than the other songs. It's extremely hard. Though I haven't played this mod, I actually did play the map for this in Funky Friday on Roblox in one of my videos. What? No! What the heck is that? Pico is also kind of just there, dead. There's also random parts where Bob's eye just flashes while you're trying to play the song and uh, I'd imagine that anyone playing this and not expecting that would get jump scared, or at least I know I would. And then we move on to the second week. Everything looks pretty back to normal again and boyfriend and girlfriend meet this random yellow dude named Ron who attempts to insult boyfriend but ends up having a stroke. <laughs> I love Ron's animation. His sprites look so goofy. Unironically though, this song slaps. Uh, unfortunately, Bob shows up in Murders Ron, but at least he died in a cool way. This next song sounds kind of more like a trap remix and it sounds pretty cool. And the version of Bob in this soundtrack is actually the one that I'm basing my drawing off of. So Bob has like some kind of ink leaking from him, I guess. Then he just has one human eye. From this point on, I'm just gonna talk about my drawing because for the rest of the mod, it's kind of just really random. As I said, Bob's design is really, really simple, so it was a bit of a challenge, but I thought this form of Bob works best for my drawing, so I decided to make the ink dripping down from Bob into a hairstyle. Kind of made her look emo. And then I turned the rest of the ink on Bob's body into this off-shoulder type dress. I tried to match the style the best I could, and obviously since Bob's character design is again so simple, I didn't want to make it any more complicated than this. So yeah, my female version of this Bob is already done. However, I do want to do a little bit more with this mod, so I also also decided to make a female version of Bob's original form, you know, the one where he literally has zero detail. I basically drew the exact same thing, but with the bow tie and ponytail. I don't know, I just think this fits really well. Obviously, giving something a bow tie to make it a girl is really stereotypical, but that's why I did it, because I just feel like if they made Bob a girl in this mod, that's something that they would do. And yeah, my two versions of Bob are finished, and I got nothing more to say. I just think these look pretty great. Thank you broski so much for watching this video. That was me doing gender bending Friday Night Funkin' Mods part 3. I had so much fun doing this video. Let me know your favorite mod that I gender bend in the comments. Mine personally was Lucian. And yeah, okay, bye!